Hey everyone, welcome back for even more brand new content about that show where karate can mean the difference between life and death, Cobra Kai. Warning, beyond this point there are some serious spoilers for people who are not up to date on the once YouTube read, now Netflix, Cobra Kai television series along with the Karate Kid movies. In this video, we're going to give you our binge breakdown of another brand new sneak peek of Cobra Kai Season 3. We're also going to go over a higher quality extended version of one of the newest teaser ads with footage we've never seen before that just started to show up online the last few days. Finally, we're going to talk about some updated info we got directly from one of the creators of Cobra Kai about the Season 3 finale. First, let's take a look at this sneak peek that Netflix just dropped. The opening shot shows Daniel and Chozen in their reunion flower shirts in Chozen's dojo. Chozen looks suspicious of Daniel as he approaches this wooden box we've seen in some of the other promo shots. Daniel picks up an open scroll inscribed in Japanese lettering with illustrations on it and realizes this is about his favorite kind of technique. This is great technique. That kick basically changed his life, so this is a cool holy grail kind of moment for Daniel. Chozen explains how he came to be in possession of the Miyagi-Do scrolls. Your sensei's father taught my uncle, Sato taught me. Before he died, Sato gave me all Miyagi artifacts. It's just as we suspected in our earlier video. Chozen most likely knows more about Miyagi-Do than even Mr. Miyagi as he has those family scrolls. As Daniel goes to look at one of the sealed scrolls, Chozen shuts him down kind of childishly. This is not for you. Why not? This is a great way to put the characters together, with Chozen reluctant to teach Daniel. This will make for more conflict and tension in their storyline. Daniel will clearly have to prove himself to Chozen before he can get that Miyagi-Do fix that he's been craving. Daniel argues since they both learned Miyagi Karate, he has a right to the scrolls, and Chozen gives him an old school response. You are a foreigner, you cannot take our secrets. If he already knows a fair amount of Miyagi Karate, what's the harm in teaching him more? Daniel responds with the line we heard in the very first teaser. Mr. Miyagi treated me like a son, not a foreigner. He wouldn't keep any secrets from me. Are you sure about that? The scene then cuts to the season 3 title card, leaving us wondering if Miyagi actually purposely kept certain lessons from Daniel, or if there were lessons Miyagi was never taught by his father because of how he did Sato dirty. We can't wait to find out that backstory along with creases when season 3 drops in less than 48 hours, people. Now let's take a look at this teaser trailer that we broke down last weekend. YouTube user Envy sent us an amazing, high-quality version that included shots we had only just started to see popping up online. We want to break down these new shots and give a huge shout-out to Envy for recording the best version of this teaser around. We're only missing the first two seconds, and according to Envy, they are shots that we've seen before. The very first shot we get is the opposite angle after Johnny's rage kick from the first trailer. We see very clearly he's kicking his way into the back dojo room, almost definitely to confront Kreese. But will there be a silver level surprise? The following shot shows us a repeat of Johnny and Miguel's physical therapy. After that, we get a shot in the Cobra Kai dojo of Kreese with his students, but sadly, no Stingray. In the corner, we can see one of his many pet snakes, but no other real story info here. The next shot is a huge surprise of Carmen kissing Johnny. This doesn't seem to be one of Johnny's fantasy sequences, but you never know. After that recent sneak peek, we suspected they might get back together, but here is pretty good evidence. The next title, labeled Slithering, appropriately shows us a bunch of different snakes. They really upped the snake factor this season from 0 to 100. The next shot is the first one of the first version of the teaser that we've already broke down, and you can check that out in our end screen or click on the card above. Here's the new version of that teaser in its entirety. Training, sweating, scoring, slithering, flexing, crushing, trekking, hunting, lurking, battling, flirting, fishing, cruising, shredding, trashing, kicking, punching, and even more kicking. Next up, let's take a look at a photo sent to us by Instagram user Timor Shah Chaudhary. Huge shout out and love for sending this our way. This pic features Johnny and Yaya in an intense moment. Miguel's grandmother looks really upset here and we wonder what's going on. She wasn't this upset at his initial injury. Has something else happened? Or is this during his actual surgery and she's just worried? 
by Johnny's clean shave and face here, it appears to be either the beginning of the season or the end. It's hard to tell for sure. What do you think? What's happening here? Finally, we want to talk about some news we found on the Twitter of Cobra Kai creator John Hurwitz. In a previous video, we had reported on a set of writing credits given to Karate Kid creator Robert Mark Kamen for the penultimate and finale episode of Season 3. We thought this was a potential game changer, but sadly, John Hurwitz let us know that Kamen actually was not the writer for either of those episodes, or any other. We sent Hurwitz the link for the official WGA site, and he genuinely seemed surprised, so unfortunately that story was actually some kind of hoax. However, after all the positive reviews for the season and a flawless Rotten Tomatoes score, we believe the finale is still going to get Robert Mark Kamen's seal of approval. However, if Miguel dies, we will definitely still riot. Thanks so much for watching our videos, everyone. As always, we're on the lookout for any new promos or insider information to help prove or disprove all the rumors and theories out there about our favorite show that slithered its way into our hearts, Cobra Kai. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Binge Rampage. Click the notifications bell for our channel so you can see our next video as soon as it comes out. And don't forget to subscribe. Listen, you don't want to learn this Brazilian garbage. But you needed some good old all-American ass-kicking karate. Isn't karate like from Asia? Whatever, look, dude. All this new age crap like jujitsu, taekwondo, they're all just cheap knockoffs of karate.